All right, guys, I'm going to show you how you uh, rig a jig to where if you got a bunch of fish that are just hitting the tail, this is what you do. You get a little bit bigger one here. Okay, so what you got, what you got, you got these little double hooks here. I'll show you what we do here. <clears throat> you know your G head is going to come out of your body. On the top like this. What you want to do is you want to measure where that G head is going to come through. So that you can see exactly where it's where it's gonna so what you're gonna do is you're gonna insert this one you're gonna use this hook to come over this one and it'll hold it in but you're gonna get those back strikes with this method this is something you won't see very often but let me uh rig it up here and show you what i'm talking about all you're gonna do is you're gonna stick this double hook right in here like this Okay, so you can see now we've got two hooks in here. Now you throw this in brush and you're going to lose it. And you take your jig head. You know you're going to come down through here like this, right? So we're going to have to hook the eye. You can barely see it through there, but we're going to hook the eye of these double hooks. there now I've got that those double hooks hooked up on my main hook I'm just gonna slide it all up there as you can see we've got a and it doesn't affect your tail what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna catch a few fish with this right here I'll hook it up see what we can do now what I'm gonna, what I've been doing with this is draw a little more attention to it. Let's see if I got it on here right. This will help it be a little bit more weedless. There you go. Three hooks on that bad boy. Now you throw that into some brush and you're gonna lose it. But what I'm gonna do with this. is I am gonna tie a loop knot. Lay that down there for a second. Start with a loop knot, all you do is tie an overhand knot in your line. Run your tag in through your, through your lure. Run it back through your overhand knot. You're going to go around your main line three times. There's two. And three. You're going to come back down through your overhand knot. And you're going to pull that tight. And pull that tight. Okay, I've pulled it tight. Now what's good about this is it gives this lure a lot of action because you're not cinched down on it. Let's throw it out here and see what we can catch on this little dude. It looks like a little, little shad, a little minnow.
still have lots of tail flip. Let's go over here and see what we can do. Got one right there. Right there. Nice bass, guys. Now, if you notice, got this bass by all the hooks. See here? That's what you want right there, guys. You want those hooks working for you. This right here, little thing, they don't get, they don't get away. See how you got the double hook? See how the double hook is set? Nice bass this morning. Grand Lake bass, guys. Grand Lake bass right there. All right, let's just put him right back. Unwrap. As you can see, that little double hook right there does the trick. Let's see here. Straighten it back up. Good to go again.